It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. I got my stuff over here, prepping, getting ready to go ahead and make something different. I have a croaker fish that I am indecisive about if I'm gonna fry it or if I'm gonna go ahead and grill it. But when I say grill it, I'm gonna do it on, on the stove type, not out on the grill. I'm wondering which one I should do because when we were in Colombia, there was a a dish that Jonathan wanted me to taste and it was called pescado and it was a fish I'm not quite sure what type of fish it was but that fish was amazing and I was nervous to eat it because it still had the eyes and stuff attached to it but I tried it because I'm down to try I'm down to try it it's like no point in traveling if you're not open to trying different things so I went ahead and tried it and I fell in love with it so but that one was fried it was juicy too so I'm like should I fry it or should I just go ahead and grill it so I'm gonna go ahead and give a few minutes of this let the intro play and decide on if I'm gonna fry it or if I'm gonna go ahead and grill it I have figured out what it is I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna fry. Well, I know I'm gonna fry because I've already started the fryer. Um, right now, here I am again with an indecisive decision on if I'm gonna use it inside of the deep fryer or if I'm gonna put it on the stove. So I got the deep fryer over here warming up and then I have the pot on the stove just in case I decide to go ahead and put it on the stove because I don't wanna put it in a deep fryer and then it like makes it like curve or something. So right now I'm working on, um, want, I want it to stay straight. That's where I'm at. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the, the one on the stove, but um, I'm gonna fry it. So boom, here we go guys, let's get it So going. guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and deep fry this croaker fish. Um, anybody that deep fries, I know that you may use egg, you may not. Um, today I'll be using some eggs, fish fry seafood breading mix, of course I'm using um, these items today to go ahead and test out while I go ahead and cook my fish. Now the first step is making sure you gut your fish and clean it out. Make sure there's nothing in there. You got to clean out the insides and you have to like really clean it, scale it if you need to. Um, depending on what kind of fish you have, you gotta make sure that it's good. So both of these, I have, they're gutted out, cleaned out. The bone is still there, but you can eat around the bone. If you're from a different country, you understand that that is something that you just, you're accustomed to. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started.
spice here, so I put the red pepper on it. I didn't put as much on Jonathan's. He likes spicy, but you know, I'm not gonna keep forcing him, you know, to eat how I eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, croaker fish, this is the season. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my fish fry and my eggs and everything together, and we'll go from there. Let's try this out. So, go ahead and I'm gonna do it in my fryer. I'm gonna do mine in my fryer. If it doesn't work out, then I do Jonathan's in the. Yeah, I think I need to do it on the stove. It's not enough space in there. Not enough space. And his is way bigger than mine. So here we go. I decided to go ahead and change over into a regular stove top so that I could put everything in there and look at it. I first though um, put both of them, just the head down into my fryer and it gave me this beautiful golden look. That's why I really love the fryer. So um, right now it's just pretty much I'm allowing it to cook up and um, I'm just excited to see how this is gonna turn out and I want Jonathan to, I want him to be excited when he gets home. Alrighty now, I have the fish going, so now I got my plantains. Um, according to Jonathan, if it's yellow, it means that it's sweet. If it's a little beat up and black, that means that it's more savory. So he likes his savory, so I'm gonna go ahead, cut this up, and I'm gonna fry these too. So you know, we are already on a frying level, so might as well go ahead and continue. So um, with the plantains, go ahead, tear it down, you know, just like you would a, a, a regular. Ooh. something that I saw when I was over in Colombia. The plantains were smashed and I think I liked them better that they were smashed. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna smash these down and see if it works for us. You don't necessarily have to try it, but I'm trying it for myself. <laughs> So I'm not going to add anything to them. I've never made these, so I'm kind of like playing around. I don't know if I should add something to it, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and not add anything at all and go ahead and deep fry them and um, see how it turns out. All right, my oil has started, and I'm going to go ahead and put these in. This one's ugly. I messed it up. It's okay. It happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. I'm going to do the ugly one first because this one's Jonathan's. You know, he's my... He's my uh, Oh, well, I guess so. Uh, we ready to fry them up, right? I don't know how long they're supposed to cook for, but we're gonna go see. Right? So it's going. I took it off of the other one. You see, it started splattering. Um, I took it off of there because um, I guess it's I had the uh, fire up a little too high. And anybody that knows when you're cooking, you shouldn't really, you know, have your fire up crazy high or whatever. So um, I'm gonna let it go ahead and do its thing over here and then I'll put it back over there once it kind of. So here's my plantains. I'm gonna switch them back over here. Um, it says to go ahead and let them cook two to three minutes. Um, I'm not sure if that's on both sides. Um, I am trying it out so um, I'll be able to get a better, you know, example. But I've already flipped. This one is a little bit, this was the first one I put in when the uh, fire was really hot and that was the ugly one. So. These are actually turning out to be very pretty and golden, and I'm super excited. And I hope that my swerga, which is mother-in-law, thinks that they're pretty good. I'm excited to see how these turn out. And while that's going, my fish is still going. Um, I decided to let my fish go a little bit longer. It said not to really cook it that long, but I want mine to like go 15 minutes on each side just so I know that it's done. 
So it's over here cooking up. And I'm excited. Okay, it's not authentic Colombian food, but it's a, a it's an attempt. It's not as good as your mom's, I know, but it's all right, right? That's good. I love it. How long have you been up? Good. Like three, eight, and better.